Hi, I'm Nag, and one of the more anticipated updates of this year just dropped in Enemy Adventures. The new Halloween patch has brought tons of new units and brand new content, so let's get into it. Alright, the Halloween update is here. Let's go! Let's put the code in. Happy Halloween, what do we got? Ooh, 1500 candies. And they put some special bundles, you know I'm, you know, I'm buying these. It comes with rerolls, alright? Oh, you can buy as many as you want. Alright, let's use... Got the capsules. Huh? What? They let me buy it, but they don't let me actually use it? Ah! <laughs> I got scammed! <laughs> what? Now it says a. Okay, bro. How okay. many can I buy? 100? Ooh. Oh, I can you buy, buy so like many. 600 capsules. You can get 600. Well, I bought the bundle 2 twice, so I, I have another, Robux for bundle 1 now. Yeah, let's try out the new event. Current hunt. I guess it resets every half hour. Oh, the gut skin. Oh, look at that law. Oh, I like this law skin. Dude, look at this gut skin, dude. Let me put him on. <laughs> <laughs> like guts. <laughs> uh, you can't walk like him though. With dog walking. The update revolves around farming the new event to get candy and open the new capsules for brand new units and skins of which all have new cosmetics we can use already. Right, they don't spawn in with that much health. Okay. Guts is doing extra damage, so he's gonna he's gonna pop off. What? Uh what is that? That's sick. It's like multipliers. They got plus 50% enemy health, but we got the candy multiplier. That's going crazy with that Doom Slayer skin. That's crazy. Let's get minus 5% cooldown there. Let's get a buff for ourselves before it gets too hard. All right, since Guts is doing double damage, I mean, we should be fine, right? Oh, attack for sure. This is fun. These multiplier stuff is really fun. A new game mode. Who would have thought? Right, we're at the final boss, Alucard. I mean, uh, his health is nothing. Look at my Guts here. 10 million damage. Damage. Your health is nothing, buddy. And after we beat this, we could get Sid. So let's see. But we got all the candies and uh, time to roll for some more capsules. Also, by completing the event, you have a small chance of getting Sid, a very interesting new unit that does true damage. Which, spoilers, we'll be going for not just unique, but also giving the best stats I've ever given to a unit so far. So stay tuned for that, because I'm trying to become the strongest anime adventures player. And if you want to keep up with my journey, make sure to subscribe. My capacity for skins is maxed. Oh, not this again. I think I'm gonna get Hidan, I think I'm gonna get Alucard. Never mind, I got <laughs> I got this thing, Hinabi, on a temple before pity. Oh, I got Melly skin! <laughs> oh, but Melly's yes. gold and I can barely see it. I guess I'll take a look at the cosmetic. Oh my god, the Melly cosmetic. <laughs> This fighting is crazy. Yeah, it's pretty good. I feel like I'm playing Green Cross right now. I'm gonna roll quick at death. Awesome. I got a Reaper on her. I guess I'll keep. She's I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save our R for, uh, for Sid. All right, since I'm done opening all my stars, it's uh, time to keep farming. Like always, I definitely won't be showing you all my completions of the new event because it's just so many. But this is what it looks like. You get candy based on the modifiers you chose and hope you get Sid. But now it's time to start working on the new units. I can already evo Hinami. All right, first Evo was quick. Sheesh. Oh my God. Are you ready? Sorry, fellas, it's started re-rolling. This just, guy, I think can only, I can only stop on a mythic trait. Okay, I might just keep yeah. the next God speed I get because it's not looking good. All right, got God speed. As you can see, Hinami can be placed four times and this is how her cosmetic looks like. It's honestly very cool. My character I'm using right here doesn't match very well with it, but you can definitely make one that does. Her animation is uh, very clean. This is her regular animation. 10,000 off drop with a cone. Not bad. She is hybrid on placement, which is very nice. Her second attack, Desolate Bloom. Let's take a look how that looks like. Okay, she just stomps them. Roots of Wrath, also a circle, pretty big one as well. And that's it. Those are all the attacks. Very cheap, as a four placement usually is. I think this character is very good. 214k every 5.3 seconds. Considering, again, hybrid on placement, I think she's very good. Almost forgot. I do have a full Oshi buff uh, <laughs> with that damage we saw. Oshi right now is so meta because of Griffith's nerf that I just use her instinctively. Now with all the buffs, 587k every 5.3 seconds. Honestly, pretty good DPS. Oh, I got the got the heat on. Okay, he is apparently a better stain. So get a quick adapt first. I'm right, gonna stop at 300. I need to save for Sid. Can be dropping all my real tokens in heat on right now. Superior three it is. Honestly, I really like this new event, but I am getting really tired of farming it already because it takes so long each completion. But hey, new event I cannot be mad about. That's for sure. Hope they make new stuff in the future again ready for this other card if it's not the first one it's never right oh i got a unit yeah 
Gas, okay. Oh, I got another unit. He done. No, not a card. And now I'd like to really quickly show the rest of the new costumes that you can get with the new skins. I really like most of them, especially Law and Gilgamesh. Definitely did not disappoint. All right, I could actually evil both Hidon and Caesar. Hidon goes first. Ooh, an A+, plus, not bad. I won't go through in detail right now. I'm gonna wait to uh, talk about it better on their actual showcases, but let's take a look at his cosmetic real quick. Oh, uh, it probably looks better with like a different uh, costume, because I mean, the cape is going over my legs, but I like the Akatsuki stuff. I wish Itachi had this. You know, but he's not limited. I like the uh, the Akatsuki outfit for sure. He done, as you can see, is a three placement unit. And now that I see him actually placed, uh, the cosmetic being like this is also on him. So no matter what character model you use, you're just gonna have these weird blue jeans poking out. Either way, let's start working on upgrading him. He done's like 7k on placement, 5.5 seconds. Not bad. He applies bleed. His attack, he just kind of does a spin and pounds them. Punishment, next attack. Circle becomes a lot better. And he does a multiple hit right there. Zoom, zoom. Next up, Soul Hunt plus Blood Curse. Now, Blood Curse. Ooh, he's actually a V. Okay. Or Cone, sorry. Blood Curse. I can't really demonstrate because enemies are just going to insta-die. Is pretty much the same thing as Stain. You do three times your damage to any bleeding enemy in his vicinity. So let's do... This is the animation. That's pretty cool. So I'm wondering, so this is max 151k every six seconds with Oshi buff. Is he stronger than Stain? Because he has a very similar ability. I believe he does, he does not stun like Stain does. Let's see his uh, ability again. Yeah, because there was no bleeding enemy, like nothing happened. Regardless of which one is stronger, I'm definitely not going for unique on Hidan. Not because I don't think he's good or anything. It's just that he is physical fire. And I have three physical fire uniques. I got Guts, Roger, and Ascanor. I am good on those for now. A full upgrade is looking at 413k every six seconds. Not insane DPS, but it's just like staying where he has the bleed. So add on an extra 30%. And he got the blood curse. So hey, maybe in a tournament, especially a non-trait tournament, we might be uh, seeing some hit-ons popping up. Before the next showcase, I want to clarify that the reason I'm not showing every time I open capsules is because it's just super boring, and I basically just get rare skins non-stop and a unit every 400 capsules or so. And I also, don't worry, while we haven't done any crazy rolling for the unit so far, the Sid portion of this video will more than make up for it, so stay tuned for that. Now, Caesar, I'll be honest, I don't know anything about him. I don't know what he does at all. So I guess I'll find out once I uh, max level him and, and give him a try. The gas at the bottom is pretty cool. I'm gonna roll like a superior three or something to give him a fair shake because he's probably very good. So I want his showcase to be fair. Oh, Godspeed. That's pretty good. I'll keep that. Caesar or gas if you're not a One Piece fan is a four placement as you can see. And he is a uh, interesting character. So you've seen the animation. He kind of spits on the enemy. Kuda Nuki. Next animation. Just goes up to them and hit them. You can see that his damage, even though, you know, we're a low upgrade still, with Oshi buff, is very low. The reason why is because he applies poison. Now, poison is an ability I didn't even know how it works. <laughs> I had to ask my guildmate how poison even works in this game because I've never seen a poison unit. Blue sword, let's see. That's pretty cool. I actually don't remember him doing this in One Piece. Max out at 130k, 8.3 seconds. So you can see that, you know, we're not buffing him or anything, but his damage is horrible. But if you're like me and you don't know how poison works, poison is a very, 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 very long debuff. One that does three times your damage. So in theory, he's actually doing quite a bit of damage, but it's not just very long, unlike bleed. You can't like reapply to the same enemy. So say for example, unless I have, you know, four of them, yes, I'll keep reapplying the poison and have multiple stacks of poison on the same enemy, but I can't reapply that poison until it wears off. So he could be good for like a very specific tournament, in the future, but yeah, this is definitely one I'm not too pressed on. Also, Godspeed, by the way, is terrible on him. <laughs> you want to have something that increases his damage. Max buff, we're looking at 356k every 8.3 seconds. This is the area. Not very big, by the way, for max upgrade. After so many runs, I finally got Sid. I'm sorry I didn't get the reaction because honestly, it wasn't that bad. The reaction, that is. If it was shiny, I would have screamed, but let's start working on him. Finally got the Sid, baby. Now that I finally got Sid, it's time to go for 
unique. And if you read the title, you will now find out why this update almost broke me. I got the nine free rolls from the mission. Let's see if we can get a unique real quick. Or I did some pulls so I could level him up because I had like no fodder. This new event just doesn't drop XP materials. I, <laughs> I done broke. Grinded all the kills. Boom. Okay. So <laughs> we're going for unique. He is a must unique, but I hope I get his shiny before I'm done grinding for Alucard. His cosmetic is good. Shiny's cosmetic is better. I've seen it before. Uh, if I have a picture, I'll put it on screen. Ooh, but I like the model from the non-shiny better than the shiny. So I want the shiny for the costume, <laughs> but using it, I want to use the basic one. The basic one just looks better, in my opinion. If you guys like the shiny one, you know, grind for that, but I like him how it is. All right. Time to roll. All right, Dreamy. Last time I streamed for you, we got Roger in 11. I'm expecting the same. Oh, first reap. Divine. Oh. oh my. I saw the. Let's go. I saw the confetti. You got three of the five mythic traits. You're just missing two now. I swear to God, if I get gold. <laughs> no, Reaper. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> no. Uh, the golden curse. Ooh. Reaper again, sick. Celestial. Right, that's uh, 509 so far. Another 500, baby. Ooh. Oh, first row Reaper. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Reaper. Celestial, epic. Uh, I don't want to buy more rerolls. 1,000 down. Sick. All right. Now that I got 50 rerolls from Dreamy on his server. Uh, there's been two people, no, three people so far that have traded rerolls. Double range! And they, get <laughs> and they get unique. For 50 rerolls, suck, Dreamy! All right, I second attempt. Surely you both get nothing again. Second, second try. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my, my, my chances are higher than his or who's ah. are. Who's win? Celestial so again, though. <laughs> I'm gonna jump off a cliff. <laughs> your your rules are a scam, Dreamy. I don't know what to tell you. What do you mean your SSS that's our scam? Surely. Celestio okay. so again, bro. What's wrong with your rerolls? Oh my god. <laughs> 150 more. Easy. Ooh. Reaper. Ooh. Oh no, man. Oh. <laughs> another Celestia. Reaper. Unique time. It's another 250 down Three, the drain. Let's two, uh. One. Go. Oh! Ah! Let's go on. Uh, Anime you. Champion Simulator. Let's. Uh, 150 more. <laughs> <laughs> Celestia loves you, man. We're on the other side. Oh. Ah! How much down are you right now? I think this is like either 18 or 1900. <laughs> Reaper, man! Go Russian now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm Damn. broke. <laughs> One fifty more. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it, man. Um. <sighs> One fifty more. Divine. Oof. <laughs> <gasps> Another casual reaper. Celestio again. Yippee. Divine! Yippee. <laughs> Are you this trolling? This is my Hanami all over again. The rest of my Halloween videos is going to be Anime Champion Simulator. <laughs> oh my god, look, the game oh, of look, all time. look, it's card. Whose gun is that? I don't think that's it. <laughs> that's just a, like a, a, <laughs> nine, a 1911 <laughs> Colt <laughs> model from like I, Black I, Ops 1. That is not his gun. I don't know, man. He's using it. This is the next day. As you can see, there's a bunch of candy. I left farming overnight. And I'm gonna open capsules. This will be the last capsules I open for the video. And if I get card, epic. If I don't, oh well. While I'm opening, I want to give a nice disclaimer. A lot of people are probably gonna be very worried for my mental and financial after all those, you know, rerolls. I want to let you know, you should never <laughs> spend money in video games at least not like that and that personally mentally is the worst but financially for me it's okay so don't worry this video will be paid off by me taking a extra sponsor video for my main channel like all the rerolls i'm using everything the ss stat, stats that i bought with rerolls don't worry it's more the mental <laughs> doing all those rerolls is brutal so when you see me or another big YouTuber spending this much money, do know that the reason why we do it is because we can 
easily make it up. I would never be doing this if I couldn't. But for you, that's not the case. So don't try to replicate what I do. Oh god, Hinami, no. I saw you in a poppy on my inventory, so I was hoping it was uh, Alucard. I loaded into a private server and spawned of the noob skin, so I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Oh. <laughs> Golden, huh? Oh, finally. Oh, finally. Oh. 2,800 ish rerolls for Unique Sid. This is the worst I've had by far. Okay, not by far. Law is actually very close. You guys haven't seen me work on Law yet because, hey, I have a main channel. I'm already putting up more work than I should, but trust, I'm like over 2,000 in him too. Okay, now in preparation for Sid, I got some pretty crazy stats. 14.7 SPA is the highest I've ever seen. And it worked! Okay! 13 range. Oh, that's tough. Not as tough as, you know, 2800 rolls, but still. I was saving for this for a different character, but... Oh, my heart is pounding. Yes! <laughs> uh, my Sid is gonna be insane. Genuinely? If this doesn't transfer, I'll be very sad. But if it does, I will have such a strong Sid. <sighs> I predicted that being the case. I really wanted that one. <laughs> Let's take him for a spin. Almost forgot to curse him. Okay, now we're talking. This is a curse. All right. The guy, the man, Sid. He is a three placement. Well, he's unique, so... He's a one placement for me, but if you do get him, he's a three placement. His damage at spawn is incredible with the insane SSS I have. I'll be real with you, my Sid is overpowered. Like, completely overpowered. My Sid's gonna look nothing like yours, but <laughs> at least you can uh, appreciate some nice numbers. 98,000 off drop. And this is pretty cool. Next up is Shadow Strike, which makes his circle actually good. And again, really cool animation. But here's where the real craziness is. I am Atomic makes him full AoE. And he does say the line every single time he attacks. If you have effects on, he will say, I am Atomic every single time he attacks. Which is kind of funny. Capping out with Oshi buff, we're looking at 1.89 million every 7 seconds. This is exactly how Sid is gonna look like for me every time I use him, essentially. This is a infinite castle unit because he has true damage. He does not have physical or magic. Like, if I use Leafy here, she does not buff him. Neither does Erwin. He can only be buffed by Oshi, Sakura, Griffith, non-elemental buffers or non-damage type buffers. So there's like a double-edged sword, right? But let's buff him with Griffith. 3.54 mil every seven seconds, full AoE. His range is insane, but you saw you saw the percentage I gave him, right? Let's take him on a castle stage. I am very high in castle right now. I'm about to be top 10 and uh, see how he does. By the way, you might have noticed someone's missing in this video. There are true secrets from this update, Sid and Alucard. And after I have opened over 7,000 capsules by the time I'm editing this video, I have not got Alucard, which is the same rarity as Roger was. But maybe if I get him, I'll give it his own video. Sorry, just one more interjection. The hours grinded for this video are incalculable. I have been farming the event with Tiny Task 24-7 since like the second day. So really, there's no way I can put that number in the title. So I'm just gonna put 100 so it looks good. But in reality, it's a few hundred hours. All right, time to take Sid where it counts. As you can see, I'm very close to being the top 10 players and this room is very hard. Virtual Dungeon is the most cursed stage in this game and i don't have any magic fire or wind unique so also by the way never mind the unique usopp and my law here i am not done with my next working on units video in which i get unique usopp spoilers and work on law but that that's coming soon all right oh now that we got the aoe i can breathe this stage is so chaotic the one thing about Sid, though, is that because he can't be buffed by Erwin or Leafy, his damage is not enough for bosses. So, even if I can't max upgrade him, that's fine. But I will max upgrade Usopp. It's just more worth it. He is really good at controlling the mobs from these stages, but not so much the boss. I mean, even these armor guys are about to, you know 
pass him. Look at how, you know, the boss is just cruising. He is at about pretty much the end of our range and I barely scratched him. That is definitely the biggest flaw of Sid. The is for stages with bosses with immense health pool, you gotta use actually the character that has a boost. Because the thing that was, you know, pretty much selling us with Sid was the fact that he has true damage. So in theory, he would be forever good and demolish castle, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, he left Sid's range with over 30 million health. Usopp carried us. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Usopp, the real goat. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Sorry I haven't uploaded in like two weeks. I promise I have a lot of content I'm working on for you guys. At the moment, I'm very busy with my main channel and these videos take multiple days just to edit most of the time. But a special thanks to everyone who joined membership and become Epic Gamers. You are all wonderful. Until next time, good luck.